Alright, so a lot of you have been asking me what kind of... Okay, so some of you have... Alright, so nobody's asked, but I decided to make a video on what gear I use to make my videos here on YouTube on gross technology. And so, I know you, you were just too scared to ask me, so I just thought I'd do it for you. You're welcome! channels here on YouTube that have ridiculous equipment and cameras and all this stuff that costs thousands of dollars. Well, I don't have that kind of a disposable income and I, I just want to show you guys what us smaller YouTube channels are able to do because we still need our videos to look good and have high quality video and audio and lighting and all that stuff. So maybe you want to start a channel of your own or maybe you just you want to see the behind the scenes of gross technology. Either way, let's take a look at what we got. So first off is the camera. Obviously, we gotta have a camera to be able to do video, and I have two of them that I switch back and forth between for different shots. The first one is my main camera, is the Canon 60D DSLR. I've got two lenses for it. I've got the 18 to 135 millimeter kit lens that comes with, you know, it, the main body when you buy it. And I also have the 35 millimeter lens as well. It shoots 1080p, which is great. The other side is I have a Yi Action Cam 4K. Now, yes, it's an action camera, so it does have that weird fish eye on it. So I don't use it as much, but it's really hard to not shoot 4K for YouTube. Pulling those cameras up is, of course, a Manfrotto tripod. It's nothing special, but I love Manfrotto tripods. I also have the small little twisty like grip gorilla pod that I'm able to put places, mount to places uh, that the Manfrotto really just can't do. Hey, so by the way, links to everything that I talk about or you see in the background or anything is going to be down there in the description below. It will take you to the most up-to-date pricings of those products and if you use those links and make a purchase, it's gonna help the channel out and so we thank you in advance. And what I use is a set of studio lights by Linko. It came in a package, it was amazing, comes with everything you need, tripods, even bulbs, a carrying case and everything so it makes it easy to pack up and go to another area. Now if I'm in a small confined area, these studio lights and tripods aren't going to work. Now what I do for that or if I need a third light, is I have a 176 LED light panel. It is tiny. This thing literally is about that size. It's by Tolifo, and I wanna thank you guys so much for sending it out to me. Disclaimer, they did send it to us for to use and to review, and it has been amazing and has helped us out in a lot of pinches. Now, what's amazing about this thing is it is ridiculously bright. I'm serious. This thing will blind you if you do look at it at its brightest. The nice thing about this is you can adjust the brightness from 99 to 10 on the back of the display. Uh, you can also change the filters on the front to be white or to be an orange yellow slider as well. So it's really nice to be able to have this when you need something bright but need it small. So I use two different mics right now. If I'm using the Canon, I use what's called a Movo video mic. Now. It looks a lot like the Rode video mic and yes it sounds basically the exact same and in my opinion sounds better but it is at a fraction of the cost which is as I've said before I don't have a money tree standing around to be able to spend on these things so finding good quality equipment for cheap is key now the other thing I use is my zoom h4n it's a recorder built in with microphones. You can also add other microphones to it, but I just use the built on mics on there, but I sometimes mix the two together. But overall, the most important thing is to have a kind of a backup just in case something were to happen to the other track. So that's really about all that I have. Now, yes, of course, I have a computer that I, I built not too long ago. I'll leave the specs down in the description below. I edit with Premiere Pro, uh, but that's really it. 
I have my studio or background set that I use that's in the office or here in my shed. Uh, it is a shed. I've got my mower and stuff. <laughs> Literally, it's, it's a shed. All right, all right. So I know, not a smart home technology video, but I thought you might enjoy seeing a little uh, behind the scenes kind of video seeing what we use here at gross tech so let me know if you enjoyed it with a thumbs up if you didn't you know they got that other one over beside it also let me know down in the comments below do you use your smartphone for taking photos and videos or do you have other equipment to do that kind of stuff uh you know for personal or here on youtube but as always my name's josh with gross tech god bless you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye